Hello and welcome to Kerbal Source Round. Today you find me in the middle of the first, well technically the second test flight of a Yakovlev, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, Yak-28 that I've just created in Kerbal Space Room. And uh, I'll show you a quick screenshot, or picture rather, of what a Yako Yakovlev Yak-28 actually looks like. And uh, this is supposed to be one of them. And I think I've done a fairly good job. It's uh, stock, except for the landing gear. The landing gear using um, Baha Bahamuto, are using Bahamuto's, I'm not sure if I said his name right, adjustable landing gear mod, because I wanted to have the landing gear look more like the landing gear should for this plane. And as you can see, we're flying extremely high, pretty damn fast. And yeah, this, this plane lets you just do that. Also, I have air brakes. I set those to be air brakes. These ones are set to be flaps that you can toggle. And the these are set to be just roll, but I found it useful to have them available for pitch control while I was up here. So I enabled them for pitch control, and I'm going to go save the final version with those enabled for pitch control. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a maneuver. Of course, we're extremely high up in the air, going very fast, so it's going to have a little bit of trouble doing this maneuver. Or rather, it's going to have a slow, long turn as I do this because it simply cannot keep up with... Wow, that is so cool. And because we're so high up, it's like we're not flying in air almost, it looks like. What was I saying? I was saying something about it not being capable of keeping up or something. No, what I meant is that because we're going so fast, it's going to take a long time to turn around. Also, because we were in such thick... No, not thick. Thin, the opposite of thick. Because we were in such thick atmosphere, it was also going to make it turn slower because thicker, atmos uh, thicker atmosphere means more air to push on, meaning you can turn faster. Thinner atmosphere means less air to push on, meaning it's slower to turn. Also, it occurs to me that there might be a base out here. What's that? I can't tell if that's a thing or not. But in any case, as you can see, we've now turned around and I can regain altitude to... Uh, whoop. <laughs> regain altitude to get back up to uh, going faster to go back to the KSC, or I could just revert flight to show you takeoff. As you might be able to tell, I chose revert flight. Okay, nope, uh, I can never stop it from falling over, but yes, so you can see here we have these as roll surface. Oh yes, I just turned on the brakes. The yaw is, I mean, that's the pitch, is that, and the yaw is, of course, that. Oh yes, we also have landing gear, eh, excuse me, we also have landing gear that has let's see can I ah enable reverse motor nope how do I how do I tell it to go in reverse I don't understand how to do that so let's pretend that I did do that yes so these adjustable landing gear are actually the smallest they can possibly be and unfortunately the uh, wing adjustable landing gear don't go down far enough to be you know stability like you know perfectly straight up like they should be I wish the mod would let you do that, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Like it, I wish they would let you let them be longer, although I can understand why it's restricted at this level, because longer than this, it might start to look a bit ridiculous. Also, it could just be a simple physics thing. This is as long of a tube as you could fit in that. But you could make it high, uh, uh, scope out more. I'm, I'm just coming up with excuses now. In any case, let's go ahead and take off with this again, so I can show you what takeoff is like. Did I... Huh, for some reason, I did not hit spacebar. I don't know why, or how. Yes, I've, um, I've accidentally slightly went sideways there. But it's okay, we're in the air now. And as you can see, ah yes, with the beautiful sounds they make, the landing gear look pretty much like they're supposed to for this plane. It's also, uh, it, it's a bit twitchy on the roll, kind of like, uh, what's it called? The Stubbs fighter that I made. It's a bit twitchy on the roll, but it has pretty good maneuverability. And... There you go. Check it out. Let's uh, not crash into the building. Fly over the pole. Yes. Very nice. So yeah, if you'd like to uh, play with this, fly around with this, I will have a download in the description. I'm also going to very quickly make a BD Armory version and let you have a download for that as well. So one unfortunate little annoying thing that I have noticed is that you can't have a, something starting deployed. Even though you can have it set to deployed in the VAB, it doesn't actually start deployed once you get on the runway, which I find rather annoying because it'd be nice to be able to do that. Another thing that would be nice to be able to do is to set the starting throttle on the runway and whether RCS should be enabled or the SAS should be enabled or whatever. Like, there, there's various things I'd like to be able to set to automatically have enabled or disabled once we load up into the game. 
I know there's a mod that lets you do that, and it lets you set up custom little bits for all the things like that, but uh, I don't want to get a mod just for that. I'm also looking at this and noticing that it's slightly clippy, so I'm going to fix that as well. I just discovered quite by accident that if you hit F2, it gives you a shortcut key for the uh, <laughs> for the uh, adjustable landing gear. That's cool, for the alignment indicators, which you can also access by right-clicking and clicking alignment guide. Oh yes, and while I'm here, I'm going to show you the work in progress one. I use these, but of course those don't have control surfaces, so it doesn't, you know, work, like, really, at all. I like that I managed to make it look cool like this, but actually, the uh, newer version looks way better and actually functions, which is kind of funny. Alright, and here we have the BD Armory version, which I tried to make accurate, but I uh, don't know where the flares are supposed to come out on this aircraft, so I put them here. I hope that's a good enough place. I think it uh, works. Or maybe this craft never had flares, in which case it does now. Here are the action groups, of course. Firing weapons, selecting weapons, countermeasures. Oh yes, and did you notice the gun? Yes, it has a gun. Good. Always important. And switching back to the unarmed version, I want to point out something new. I added these, uh, whatchamacallit, the extender thingies, communicatrons. Yes, I completely forgot about them. Um, but, well, basically, if you look at some pictures of the craft, it has these. Well, I've seen ver- uh, I don't know. I don't know what exactly where where those are supposed to come into play, because there's, there's various different pictures of differences in the same aircraft when I look up pictures of aircraft. So I'm not really sure if those are supposed to be there, what they're supposed to be there for. Fire the other, fire the sidewinders, oh, that's a slight problem. Alright, here we are again on the runway after changing the, the, the uh, not the design, the uh, drop time and, oh fuck, we're gonna crash right away. Um, this thing is flying surprisingly well with just one engine right now. And eject. That was good. Yes, this craft is very, very squirrely on the ground. Whoa. Oh, you know what? The, uh, the yaw controls on the wheels are inverted. I'll have to fix that. That is unfortunate. Okay, so I've adjusted the timing on the missiles, so hopefully things should work better now. There you go. And now, yep, and fire the gun. The gun I'm actually going to change where it's aiming as well. I'm going to change it to aim down a bit and a slightly bit to the left so that it can be more centered in the cockpit. Alright, so we've fixed the steering problem. Let's check. Let's check. Bleh. Yep, it is steers properly now. So now we can focus on taking off properly rather than on the steering being a bit wonky. And uh, yep, up off the ground. There we go. Nice and easy. This thing takes off very well. Let's try out... Oh yes. One. One. Hmm. See, I keep getting told that if I click and hold or whatever, that I can make the uh, other missiles fire, but uh, that doesn't work. There you go. And now we have the gun again. And it's a bit to the right now. It's still just as high though, so I'll need to uh, work on that again. And the reason I want to make it lower, by the way, in case you were wondering, is um, basically so that you could do ground attacks with this plane. And you wouldn't have to worry about the fact that your gun sight is, uh, you know, where you're going. If your gun sight is slightly below your heading, then you can focus your fire on the ground without risking crashing into the ground as much. Alright, so... God damn it. Alright, so it's still to the right, and I don't like that, but I think I will just let myself deal with it. Let's go ahead and do a takeoff from in the cockpit. Whoop. Okay, in the air, throttling down just a bit so that we don't, uh, over, over, what do you call it, uh, go way too fast and melt. You know what? That, why is that targeting ridicule so high? Like, it's still higher than I want it to be, which is unfortunate. And it's even more to the right than it was- oh, shit, that, that turn was a bit wrong. 
Yeah, it's still it's still too high into the right or left rather. Did I keep saying right? I meant left. See, because let's say I want to aim at that building. I have to aim for that building. And I have to like fly over it and just barely miss. Woo! That was a quick attack run. This thing goes fast. Well now it's now it's aiming way too low. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's close enough. That is close enough. I am happy with that. That went a bit strange once I took off. Why'd it go up when I took off? It was perfectly nice and low, and then it went up. I'll just have to learn to deal with it. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm giving up on trying to get the gun aimed perfectly the way I wanted because that is just not going well. Today is not my day. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fire all the guns. Uh, well, all the missiles. Not fire all the guns, and I'm going to uh, activate my air brakes. Turn down the throttle just a bit. We're gonna turn around and uh, lower the landing gear. And this is actually the first time I've ever attempted to land this thing, because I've just been so busy uh, testing its flight and having fun flying it that I haven't actually bothered trying to land it. So yes, here goes nothing. I'm gonna turn down the throttle just a little bit more, try and get us lined up properly. I'm gonna go ahead and go from the exterior view so I can watch this thing uh, struggle on the runway. I also don't know if the braking torque is just way too low on my uh, landing gear. Alright, here goes. That landed uh, very well. <laughs> Alright, yes, I'd say the braking torque is probably way too low considering how slow this is taking to stop. Yes, I definitely need to up the braking torque on this thing very, very much. I was worried about it tipping over. I think the braking torque numbers that are used on this are different from the ones used on the stock landing gear, though. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in space.